Welcome back to Neon Trash, all you cyberpunks and retro nerds out there. You got your lovable host, Tommy the Hammer, coming at you guys again with another crazy midnight movie review. Back in 2014, one of my favorite low-budget independent horror movies was Wolf Cop. And what's not to love with that movie? You've got humor, you've got gore, and you've got a cop that also is a fucking werewolf. So tonight we're going to be checking out the sequel called What Else? Another fucking wolf cop. Um, I gotta be blunt though. When this trailer first dropped a couple years ago, I thought it looked not as good as the original movie. You guys are gonna be checking out that trailer. Peep that shit, motherfuckers, and when we get back, you're gonna know my opinion on another wolf cop. Woodhaven has more than it can handle. Think we'll see any action tonight? Oh, Scott, you need to learn. In this job, it's not about looking for action, it's about preventing it. Merry Christmas. More violence. More sex. Is that my sister? <laughs> more liquor. More explosion. More donuts. More hair. More hockey. You're a wolf. Oh, I think you're missing the bigger issue here, though. Heads where I can see him. Did we mention chicken milk? Slam a cold cop! What do you know about shapeshifters? Reptilioid dudes, man. Smells like old people. Chef Bear. More blood. Damn it, Daisy. Did we mention explosions? <laughs> now, more than ever, Woodhaven needs dirtier, hairier. Another wolf cop. Someone stole our donuts. Brought to you by Liquor Donuts and Wolf Cop Lager. Brood angry. All right, guys, I don't think we have to take too deep of a dive with the movie Another Wolf Cop. Uh, with B-movie fodder such as this, I feel like less is more, but I gotta say, I was a huge fan of the first movie. Uh, does this film stack up compared to the original? Yes and no. On one hand, the meager budget is definitely apparent with this film. Sure, the original movie um, wasn't some huge Hollywood blockbuster, but there was a certain air to it, and it definitely had a lot of uh, care and love and craft behind the overall lens. The humor was always a big part of the series. I mean, in the first film, yes, it's a horror comedy. But with this movie, it feels a lot more loosey-goosey, as if uh, maybe the writers, the actors, and everyone involved is just a little bit more comfortable behind the camera a second go-around. Movies like Wolf Cop and Hobo with a Shotgun and Planet Terror, they kind of remind me of modern-day trauma films, modern-day 80s exploitation horror movies. I gotta say, I really liked the whole nod to the cat people. I thought that was an unexpected twist to give the wolf cop a love interest and wouldn't you know it, it's a cat. Cats and dogs. <laughs> what the fuck? One of my favorite parts to the movie is the beginning. You get this cameo from filmmakers Astron 6 that is just Fucking ballistic. So the trouble with sequels is they're inherently tied to the original film. Uh, with another Wolf Cop, I, this is the type of movie that you can't just thrust anybody into. If you popped on this movie and no one saw the first film, they wouldn't have any idea what's going on and then they wouldn't care because with this type of film, everything is so ballistic, everything is so over the top and insane that it just doesn't matter. If you like the first movie and you want a little bit more, then definitely check out Another Wolf Cop. It's worth your time, um, you know, just for all the ridiculous jokes and over-the-top gore. I mean, my God, so many sequences are disgusting and the jokes fucking had me in stitches. I don't know, guys, I just think I was in the mood for something of this sub-level in terms of trash. And, you know, with this being neon trash, perfect. Fun fact, uh, director, writer, Kevin Smith has a cameo in this movie, and his scene is fucking hilarious too. Out of 10 stars, I think I could give the movie 
I don't know, without actually going back and seeing what I gave the first film, uh, I gotta lowball this one a little bit. So I'm thinking it's gonna get five and a half, maybe a flat six out of ten. And if you want my opinion, guys, just watch the first movie. I hope I've been informative. Until the next time, tune in to Neon Motherfucking Trash. Good night, folks. Oh!